Hello there, my beautiful book lovers. My name is Kimia and welcome to my book talk. Today we are doing the video that I'm sure you've all been waiting for and that is my list of recommendation for the fall readings. I have seen a lot of great videos out there in booktube about books that everybody sort of recommend for the season of fall that are cozy, warm and just like the perfect time to read books. And um, I wanted to pick some books that I didn't see them that much on any of the lists that at least I was watching. And um, these are all books that I felt that they all do also have those vibe of warm and cozy because it's a perfect time to start getting back into the habit of reading now that the weather has been changing and it's getting a little bit cold and gloomy and it's the perfect time to just cozy up with a book. And so without further ado, let's get into them, shall we? Um, for the first book of this list, I actually wanted to pick a book that it's about trees because I feel, at least for me, the beginning of the fall, it is that moment that you start to see and notice the change of color in the trees and the leaves and the falling of the leaves. And so because of that, I felt that it's the most appropriate to start the list with a book that it's about trees. And that is Over a Story by Richard Powers. Um, this book, it's a phenomenal story about trees. Um, it's a, a work of fiction, so it is not really a scientific book about trees per se, but it is a book that it's about trees, nature, and our relationship as human with nature and how we're all sort of connected, how we're affecting one another. And uh, throughout this story, we are following different characters and their sort of relationship with trees and nature in general. General, and I feel that it's the perfect read for the start of fall season because um, as human beings of the modern age we spend so much of our time indoor that sometimes we forget about that sort of connection that we have with nature and this is a book that sort of not only reminds you of that but makes you to appreciate it more to pay more attention to it and I feel that like now that it's the beginning of the season of like you know cold and like the time that you're staying you're staying indoor more often it is good to sort of have that sort of reflection um, about your relationship with nature and so if you think that that's a subject that you would like to know more about to read more about or pay more attention to this is a fantastic story for that and I highly recommend it then moving on um, while I was sort of making this list I was like okay who is the one author that any book of his or hers is the perfect sort of a fall reading and the person that came to my mind there were a few but like the person that I picked it was Frederick Backman because if you have read any of his books they are all just that whole vibe of coziness and warming your heart and giving you that like little hug that you really need in the cold season. And the book that I have picked among his works, it's A Man Called Ove, because um, this book holds such a special place in my heart because it was actually the first book that I read by Frederick Backman and it's such a beautiful story that is just like I myself try to read it every once in a while just simply because of all of those vibes and feelings that gives it um, and this story it's about a man called Ove and he has recently lost his wife and so he sort of sees no point in life anymore he is a middle-aged elderly sort of a man and um, he's very set in his ways and lives like most human beings and now that he has lost his wife he really is struggling to get back to like living a life and so um, he's going through all of those struggles and then eventually a new family moves in next door and this is a family with two young kids and a wife it's also pregnant so a lot it's going on for that family obviously the kids are pretty young the two girls and they're you know like kids you know so like they're full with of energy and like love and like playing and everything and through different accident and incident um their lives um sort of entangled with ove and um 
throughout this book we're really seeing the importance of humans and their relationship to one another that no matter how much of uh, you're setting your life and your way of life or even like you're sort of an introvert as social creature we still do need those interactions and it's a book that makes you laugh cry feel all the feels and it really makes you appreciate people that you have in your life that again they might not even be family per se but they are people who can become part of your family so it's a fantastic read and as i said any book um, by Frederick Backman honestly has those vibes and you can enjoy it during fall or any other season but I felt like this is really the book um, to sort of just start with it and get into it and so if you like any of those sense of stories this is a perfect read for that. Next on the list we have a book that I actually recently finished like a couple of days ago and that is The Flatshire um, by Beth Lenny if I'm not wrong um this book it's it wasn't supposed to be on this list actually I wasn't thinking of I'm going to put it on this list because when I started reading this book um I was listening to the audiobook and I didn't think that I will enjoy it as much simply because um the person who was acting the male character Lenny um he was doing a great job because Lenny it's a person the, the story it's about Lenny and Tiffany and Lenny is a character that he's a little bit um a little bit introvert a little bit set on his own way like he's a little of a quirky of a character you know um and I feel that like the person that was acting him he was doing a great job but to me it wasn't connecting really so at the beginning especially I was just like I don't think I'm going to enjoy this book and I was really trying to just like be done with it but then as the story progressed I actually started to enjoy it much more because the characters were so much more enjoyable that I was like by the time that it end I was like no I'm gonna add it to this list so anyway this book it's about Lenny and Tiffany and then, um, because of some different circumstances, they're sharing a flat. But the way that they're doing it, it's that it's Lenny's flat, actually. And he uh, works at this um, sort of a, like a nursery hospital um, situation. And so his shifts are mostly like during the night, evening the night. And so because of that, he's thinking of um, sort of leasing out his place, his flat for during the day. And that's how Tiffany comes to the picture because like she's like, you know, has a regular normal nine to five job. So she's like renting and subletting sort of um, this place or sharing it together. And so these two characters are actually very different in a lot of different sense and they're living different lives. And at the beginning, they don't even really get to know one another because of the circumstances and the schedule that they have. They're really not like seeing each other or anything. But little by little, they start to sort of cross path and um, share little notes with one another and get to one get to know one another. And it's one of those romances that it is really the like the definition of cozy simply because it's so like a slow burn it, it starts little by little and it's one of those that like I feel at least is the perfect read for fall because like you know somehow like with some other different romances there are like you know like a lot of things are happening and it's like big actions and like big gestures and not that anything was wrong with it I love it actually sometimes I do want those like sort of fights between enemies to lovers or sometimes like adventures in a, like a fantasy romance book but uh, with this one it is very much more like slow and that like all of those again cozy vibes and it's it's building up and you're seeing it how it's starting to get there you know that there is going to be that romance but it's one of those that it's like so little by little that you start also to fell in love with these two characters while they're falling in love with one another and so if you're looking for a romance that it's like that I highly recommend this book especially because like it's a book that not only focus on the romance but it also touch on different sort of um, aspects and types of relationships that I, I at least appreciated it, I in my opinion did it very well and the storytelling was really good in a sense that again like everything was 
enough to make you to love the characters and the story and what they're going through. So if you're looking for a book like that, I highly recommend this book. And um, be like me, stay with it. If you start at the beginning, if you're reading it, if you're listening to the audiobook, and if you felt that like, maybe it's a little slow, maybe it's not your type of a book, give it a chance because like you might be surprised the same way that I was, because I was like, no, this, this is actually a nice book, you know? So I, I was very surprised and I was very happy about it. I love those books that like you know you start being like mm, no I don't think so and then end up actually enjoying it very much so this was a sort of a book like that okay so you know that there is no such a thing as a fall reading recommendation list video or whatever that does not include fantasy because I feel in my opinion fall is the perfect time to get into fantasy fall and winter both um simply because with most of the fantasy book it's like you know you need the time to sit with that to really learn the world to really learn the like the i don't know if it's the like the magic system if it's the, the like the the, the the system of the school the system of the society or whatever that it is and the fall and winter is the perfect time for it because you know it's cold it's gloomy you're staying indoor you have the time to really sit and read for a couple of hours before you go to bed or whatever and so fantasy is the perfect sort of a genre for this season and um the book that i have picked for this list at least it's tress of the emerald sea by brandon sanderson so um if you have not read any sort of fantasy book that much or you have not read any of the uh, Sanderson's books ever, I feel this is the perfect book for both of these groups because it's a standalone fantasy, which is a great way to get into the fantasy world because like with a lot of the, the, like the genre, the books are like, you know, series because it takes a while to build up a whole new world and system and everything that goes with it. And so it takes commitment, you know, but for people who are not really familiar with the genre, standalones are the perfect sort of introduction to it because there's enough world building, there's enough characters, there's a lot of system and adventures that get you sort of excited for the genre, but at the same time, it's not too much to overwhelm you. So anyway, this book is um, about Tress and she's living in this like little sort of an island with her friends and families. And she's, you know, a girl that um, it's not doing much or as much as she wants. You know, she has big dreams. She wants to go on an adventure and do a lot of things. But because of the like the way that everything is, uh, she's not really capable or able to do any of those things yet. Till eventually a uh, sort of a childhood friend, a dear person, um, he is kidnapped. And so um, nobody really knows or like the people that know do not really say that like what exactly happened. So nobody really knows what's going on. But Tress is like, no, I'm going to save him. I can do it. I will go. And so he is, uh, I'm sorry, she is going to go through all of these like different um, like seas and like going through this ocean, passing like different islands and towns and cities and whatnot uh, to find her friend. And so this book, it's fantastic. Characters, lovable, perfect, just so great. You know, they have their depth, they have their sort of uh, little quirks and uh, they have like their little like sort of feisty personalities that you just like love and also the world building. Um, anybody has ever read any books um, by Brandon Sanderson knows that he's really good at building a whole new world. And that's a reason that like with a lot of like his books and series, um, they're phenomenal. And I highly recommend you to just get into the like the fantasy genre with him and his books. But this is like a perfect introduction because he's still doing it very well. You have a whole new world with all of the like the, the rules and regulations and everything that is going on with this world. But at the same time, it is so well done that you cannot really be like oh there is this plot hole like what is happening how can this happen or anything like you know it's very well just you know written and um these characters are just so 
again, like those that like keep you interested into the story, into them, like to see what is going to happen to them. So if you're looking for those sort of vibes, if you want a little bit of adventure, if you want a little bit of fantasy, if you want a little bit of romance, friendship, and just like, you know, good times, this is a perfect book for that. Um, I really, really recommend to start getting into fantasy during the season of fall because it's just like, you know, it's like those and especially like, you know, Halloween is coming up. It's just like, it's the perfect time, you know, it's like really just a time for that. And because of that, actually, the next book, while it's not fantasy, it's more, I think it could be like fiction sci-fi, you know, um, but still it's like, you know, sort of a little bit of a different world. And that is Clara and the Sun by Kazi Ishiguro, if I'm not wrong. Please forgive me, the name of the, like, the, the book will be here. So um, this book, it's, if there's a book that in my mind brings those sort of feelings of, um, warm and like sunny but like fall sunny not summer sunny you know the difference you know like you know like because there's that like sense of cold but then the sun comes in a little bit and it warms you up but it doesn't heat you up so th this is the book for it this is the book that it reminds me of all of those feelings and uh, this book it's about this sort of robot ai um creation um named clara and she is we're living in this world that, that uh these being exist um to sort of befriend kids and children to help them through you know like growing up and then clara is a person um it's a being not a person exactly um that she lives in this little store with all of her other robot friends ai friends um and they're waiting for the like the right sort of owner child friend you know sort of situation and while she's waiting in this store she's starting to sort of pick up on humans and their behavior because again while she's an ai and she has that sort of intelligence at the end of the day she doesn't have those like human feelings or doesn't completely understand them and she's like learning them and so we're seeing the world through her eye and we're experiencing uh, like the whole this new world with her and um eventually she befriends this kid and she's like sort of bought to um live with this child and um the child it's a little bit of um like she's sick and so we are sort of trying to go through this journey with Clara and the child that they're trying to um protect one another and also they're growing and uh we are learning about again their friendship the human's relationship puberty coming of age and it's a book that really like just portrayed all of those emotions so well uh, it's a book that like to me when I was reading it it is a very cozy obviously for sure but it's also very a slow burn but in a good sense of a word um that like you know you're just there for the journey you're just like going with them it, it feels like you're listening to a friend telling you about their day you know it's not a book that is really pointing out big picture a sort of problem or solution or situations to you while it is actually like very like you know slow burning and like on the side pointing out things to you and I enjoyed it very much so it was another book that I actually this one I also listened to the audiobook and I highly recommend this one it was very enjoyable and um I and I I loved it to sort of like going through this journey with these characters because you get get to know them and you see that how again it brings up that sort of whole situation about AI you know that like how much even though like you have the intelligence how much can you actually be truly like human you know and um I enjoyed it very much so and I feel it's a perfect sort of a book 
for the fall season. It's one of those that, again, it really feels like a warm cup of tea, you know? it's It really is a cup of tea, you know? And um, if you are looking for a book to sort of maybe start on your journey of reading for the fall season and the like the winter season um it's a great book for that because it sort of keeps you in without you really realizing or noticing it and before you know it the book is over and you're like oh that was lovely um so anyway those were my recommendation for the fall reading journey. I hope you enjoy them. Um, I would really love to hear from you guys to let me know what are some of the books that you're reading or you're looking forward to reading or you have read before and sort of recommend and suggest to others to read it during the fall seasons because again it is our season. It is the time that we're going to just stay indoor and read, 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 read. And so hopefully we will all get a lot of reading done <laughs> during these the next two seasons. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next one, happy reading!